Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church, and I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me reflecting together on God's Word. On June 1st of 2008, a fire broke out at a backlot warehouse on Universal Studios in Hollywood, California. It was reported in the news, but didn't get a whole lot of attention. It was about 11 years later that the New York Times broke a story revealing that in that warehouse fire, original recordings, the original recordings of some of the most famous pieces of music in modern music history were destroyed. Now, I didn't quite understand what that meant. You know, we live in this digital age now where, um, you know, you've got copies of things in the cloud and on multiple computer backups. And so I really wanted to understand what this meant that they had been destroyed. And as it turns out, it meant exactly what it said. They were destroyed. They're, they were no more. They don't exist. There wasn't another somewhere else. There wasn't something in the cloud or in another warehouse. They simply are gone. They no longer exist. I was thinking about this because this is New Year's Day. And many of us are probably wondering what this year is going to be like. Or maybe for some of us, unfortunately, we're not wondering what this new year will be like. Maybe we've kind of resigned ourselves to, well, I know who I am. I know the things I do. I messed things up last year. Surely I'm going to mess up this year. Why is that important? Because I believe many of us are stuck in this loop of our own making. We're stuck in this loop of feeling like this year is going to be just like last year because I'm still the same person that I've always been. When Scripture teaches us the exact opposite, we're not the person we've always been. We used to be the person we had always been, stuck in a loop, unable to change, unable to break free. And then Jesus Christ broke through all of that by dying for our sins on the cross. And you see, we weren't just forgiven. We became a new creation. It says the old has passed and the new has come. Well, you may think, well, okay, but, you know, God isn't going to forget that stuff. God knows me. God knows who I am. God is not going to be fooled. 
I would contend that by trying to stay in that loop, trying to stay stuck in a routine and in a habit, that's what you're doing to try to fool God. Because Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 says, God speaking here to us, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities, I will remember no more. See, you're trying to play out this thing that you think God expects of you, and God is thinking, that's not who that person is. Why are they doing those things? I, I don't remember them doing this stuff in the past. It says God forgives and he will remember it no more. And if you think, how could he remember it no more? Just go back to 2 Corinthians where he says, the old has gone away. It doesn't exist anymore. Just like that warehouse fire that I mentioned at the beginning. Those things that were destroyed in the fire are gone. Gone. Never to exist again. There's not another copy. There's not another option. And when God says the old has passed away, he means it. It's gone. It's passed away. It doesn't exist anymore. So may we hear the truth of the word of God and allow this new year to be really something new for us to embrace the truth of God's word that the old has gone and the new has come. I think sometimes maybe we stick with the old because that's all we know. It's like, well, it's bad, but at least I'm familiar with it. At least I know how to do that. Don't allow that to leave you stuck where you are. And admitting that, will only make it easier for you to live into the new that God has created for you through His Son, Jesus Christ. Each day wake up and say, Lord, I know the old, but I know the old is gone. I don't know the new. Lord, today, each breath I take, each step I take, teach me to be a new creation and Jesus Christ, and then be ready to be amazed at what it feels like to live a new life as a new creation in Jesus Christ. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the Word of God for the people of God.